Hey guys, welcome back to your coverage of the second season of the Cena Cup. This is game two of our winner bracket final. It's a best of three between Vici Gaming and LGD China and Vici Gaming LGD's are currently leading to one ban. to nothing. I'm Basekip here providing coverage on behalf of Beyond the Summit and I'd like to welcome back Winter to the broadcast. Hi, Dire good to be back. Bans. So, LGD, they start off with the ban on the Bristleback, so RTK won't be able to get his hands on, on that one at least this time around, though... I guess it remains to be seen if they are going to get rid of the Pugna. Uh, as There's one well. thing I want to ask you though, Basic. Yeah. When What's we up? were when I was playing pubs a lot before, one hero that when I when I see in pubs rip the Basil back a lot is the Necrolite. Mm. And LGD likes to pick Necrolite from time to time. Ten seconds remaining. You do have do to get I the. I I think I agree. I I do agree that the Necrolite is a great way to remaining. to deal with him. But Chop the, him down. Yeah, yeah, just completely cut off <laughs> the rest of his time. damage for the fight because I guess the thing is from from 100 to 0 he's doing damage the entire time if you're anywhere team uh, near him. I guess the one thing is that you're currently 0-1 right now in this best of 3 and if you're not sure that you can force a favorable lane for the Necrolite because I guess that's his one weakness, right? You, you do want to have a nice lane for him. Yeah at the start. It's, it's not only like, or not only the ultimate alone, like, I feel the Heartstopper aura deals a lot of Five damage to the Bristleback remaining. because he needs mm. to stand in front to tank and take damage and to deal damage at the Reserve same time. time. So the Necrolite just needs to stand around the Bristleback and he's just constantly taking damage and you h basically use your first skill to heal your teammates as well, the, the Death Pulse. To and survive from the Hmm. Yeah, it negates the cool spray's damage and you damage the bristle back at the same time. And over time he takes more damage than you because of the hard stopper aura. And when usually the bristle back player is just diving in and just trying to get a lot of sprays going on and at some point you get too much damage and one Necrolite ultimate will be able to kill you. You, you usually don't notice that too often, like your HP just drops to a critical level that one ultimate can kill you. And by the time when you realize it, you are too far in. Dire team pick. Yeah, and I think there's definitely a spot for Necrolite in the in the current version. If if you end up with a team that I guess the one big criteria for me at least with the Necrolite is that the enemy team doesn't have too much really punishing AoE because your your mm -hmm. team fight plan if you have a Necrolite on your team is everybody huddle up to me and we'll death ball our way around. <laughs> Uh, the team fight. So I guess if yeah. they're if they're really punishing AOE spells, then he's Ten not always remaining. the best. But I always just remember the what was it six point four eight B when it was the stable version for a really long time, and it was basically the Bloodstone Reserve meta. I, I may be misremembering a little bit, but it was uh, like, the Bloodstone that gives H HP yeah, regeneration. Yeah, as yeah, well. and it was yeah. like what Undying and Necrolite and. Um, maybe Doom Krob Doom, huh? and and Doom as well. We're like your your premium yeah. Bloodstone carriers, and they just th that was your those were your carries for for that version. But yeah, you were yeah. talking about the Necro the other day. I think I remember. I guess it was you talking. You were saying that why you were posing this question. Mm -hmm. Teams like IG like to use Viper LGD's on the safe lane, and they use the Viper or the Razor, Lightning Remnant to just get an early mecha with their. But, safe but why lane not pump. Necro? Yeah. Yeah. Why why not? That, Necro? that was me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see more of it. There, there are definitely some heroes at the moment on the fringes that we see once in a blue moon that I, that I, I think some teams could maybe push a little bit more. I guess the one thing at the moment is that it's teams seem to be se teams seem to be booked constantly. Like if you look at the least, especially the European remaining. scene right now, teams are just play, 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 travel, play. I don't know when people are finding opportunities to to scrim and really get. You know, engaged Reserve with the patch time. and try new stuff. I mean, have you heard that at all from anybody that, that you've talked to, or is, is this just me? Yeah, making it's going to be a really huge LGD's problem for the teams that are always having matches, bad. official matches, like week after week, and they don't have time. You're not going to go into a tournament, a LAN event, and say, okay, we have not practiced this before, but we're going to do this, this, this. I think this will work. No, they will just go for what they are comfortable with, what they are used to having as. Team the common bad. picks they have and no one is just going to experiment things when there's uh, event after event and after event I guess that's the only bad reason bad reason if there's a tournament every week but people are just happy to watch every week after week there's a huge event look I'm, I'm not complaining if I get to watch great Ten Dota every remaining. single week so yeah. there's, so, there's something as well like I just it just came Five to my mind like, it just came to my mind that Necrolite is really bad against Pugna <laughs> 
Yeah, he's, he, in, he's in, in the time. last game there was a Pugna. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't have such a great time there. But speaking of Pugna, he's been picked up as well this game. Savici Gaming feeling pretty, well, feeling pretty confident with the Pugna strats. And they also managed to get their hands on the Elder Titan. Oh, that. Yeah, because LGD chose to use one band to take out the Bristleback. And they have to give away something like a. I don't really like to give away this hero when I'm playing. I don't like to play against this hero. It makes me feel like I'm just some weak, weakling in the game. I die so bad. easily when he's next to me. Hmm. When the Elder Titan is around, you're, yeah. you're not in for so much fun. And LGD, you know, interestingly enough, you know, just the, go for Alchemist and Lifestealer. Yeah, hmm? The Capify and the Spirit next to you, you just die. Yeah, I, I could see I could see one blast maybe just outright killing a support. How about Finger of Death? How would you like that? Need, needs, needs some lion, yeah. Th that would be terrifying. Uh, as a, I don't think a support... I can't think Reserve of a support time. that could survive that without a whole bunch of whole bunch of farm. So. Alchemist, what's your HP regen going to do for you? <laughs> Nothing. Like, absolutely You're just going to die. What do you think of the LGD draft so far? We've seen a lot of Alchemist. We've talked about Alchemist a lot. But the early lifestealer is something that I feel like we we haven't really been seeing, at least in the East. As much, and I think the other the big reason is because now we see LGD desperately banning heroes that are going to hard counter the life stealer. I f I feel the first two picks of Vichy Gaming are already good counters to the life stealer. Yeah, I mean he already he already has a really hard time if he has he's already got fairly low armor to start yeah. with, and that and that the Capify will make it so annoying for him to target down anyone, and at the yeah. same time the ultimate of the Elder Titan still slows you, so it's just gonna be so annoying. Hmm. So it might be might be a tough game for this LGD lifestealer, and they've also got maybe the beginnings of a double melee kind of tri lane right now. So I guess that's something also to keep in mind. If Ichi Gaming can, if Ichi Gaming are pretty comfortable with the one v one matchup that their Elder Titan is going to have, they could choose to to play this fairly aggressively here. Though they are on the dire side, remaining. which doesn't necessarily favor your aggressive tri lanes uh, that much. Five so seconds LGD remaining. again having to think about this push strat. One more time, are gonna end up banning uh, the lone druid. Reserve time. One thing I want to say about the pickup of the elder titan, it used to be a hero that people talk about being very flexible. You can utilize him everywhere, but I have not seen a Chinese team use elder titan solo mid at all. Yeah, that's pretty much exclusively ten seconds. The West for and, Bulba. And, and and Bulba. Yeah, let let let's just face it. It's pretty much just Bulba. Uh. Dyer does anyone else do it? Pick. I think S4 does it as well. Uh, I think I think S4 has done it LGD's because yeah. I don't think pick. Bulldog plays it, and I know that they've picked it. So yeah, I think it, I think it is S4 playing that Elder Titan. But Vichy Gaming, similar strategy this time around. They get their hands on the Dragonite, so it looks like we're gonna have off lane ET. Um, Dragonite probably heading towards mid. Pugna maybe your safe lane. There's still the Crystal Maiden in the pool as well. Uh, who oh, I Crystal think could Maiden. go great with Elder Titan and, and Dragon Knight. Yeah. So. Crystal Na Maiden remaining. plus Elder Titan plus Pugna plus Dragon Knight. She's, her, she's their remaining. best buddy right now. Yeah, BFFs. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. LGD. Reserve time. Uh, they've got the Alchemist. Will, they might consider offlane yeah. Alchemist. Will LGD make the CM their B BFF <laughs> instead of letting Vichy Gaming? Yeah. This is this is like you know picks when you're you're playing sport. It's like you know no no you you come over you come over here. You don't get. They are picking the their girlfriends team. right now. <laughs> it, it's all male lineups so far. So we'll see who's we'll see who's able to coax I, the crystal maiden. I over. don't think that's a gender to partner. Hmm. True. <laughs> yeah, that, that 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 could be right. Okay. That's a. He's just a sham. Oh, I shouldn't use his. Uh, I shouldn't use he. Maybe I should say it's, it's just a shamble of bones. Yeah. And LGD are going to end up taking the Crystal pick. Maiden for themselves. Are, are you thinking that we might... Okay, so we've got the Crystal Maiden. I think this might even potentially be your offlane Alchemist. Just because we saw LGD last oh, game. Yeah, they yeah. really wanted the Batrider to be there to hold on to the Tier 1 tower for a really long time against the Pugna. And it worked. I mean, it, the Pugna push didn't happen until 6 minutes instead of 3 minutes, right? Uh, and I guess the Alchemist, when he's Ten got the Crystal Maiden backup, remaining. you can sit there, you can spam Acid Spray, and if Vichy Gaming push too aggressively, then LGD's they can just... Um, then the Alchemist pick. is just going to soak up a whole bunch of levels. So, could also be an option here for, I, for LGD. I feel that if he wants to do that, he needs to avoid something that happened the last time round, where he got level 1, 
acid spray and he didn't have the stun because he didn't he wasn't able to he wanted to rotate he started with boots I remember that game I can't remember who was the op- enemy team but he Xiao 8 basically started with boots and level 1 he skilled acid spray to try and get levels and farm but in the end he got zoned out of the lane and he didn't get his level 2 and he was quite useless that game the other game where we saw he was a lot of pressure towards the enemy middle lane was because he managed to get levels and being off on the map Starting with the boost just constantly creates fear of the enemy. So Ten seconds remaining. Mm. Yeah, so we'll see. Maybe he'll just leave that decision Five up in the air at the, at the start. Or maybe they'll just let Lich stay there. Maybe. I don't know. Do you... Reserve time. Five Here's the thing. You're up, pushing You're up against a pushing lineup. You're up against a Pugna yeah. and a Dragonite, and you've just picked a Lich. LGD's yes, it helps you win a lane, but you can't really put it in the lane that's going to be pushed really heavily. And then sacrificing creeps in the mid game starts to become a little bit of a difficult sell because it's actively helping the other team um, Dire push. Team so. pick. Yeah, Vichy Gaming is again banning out the Kanka and the Gyro team fight heroes, but the Lich King is just really weird in this scenario. Maybe they just want the Frost Armor to help against the Elder Titan aura. Hmm. I, I'm not very sure. The primary usage of Lich right now for LGD is to weaken and disable the Vichy Gaming lanes. Make someone handicapped, having a bad remaining. start against a Lich King. Someone like a Dragonite, you don't get levels so quickly. Five you don't get, remaining. you lose a lot of farm from the sacrifice and the push doesn't come that early. I would see the Lich heading towards that direction. Yeah. And I think LGD back. might almost need another core hero. So we might see something like a Lich plus, a, plus one of your ranged semi-carries. Mm. Mid, just because can, the lifestealer is going to have a really hard time against the Bane. Yeah, true. They have Decrapify, the Elder Titan Aura, and the Bane. At the same time, having... Sand King is not an easy target for the lifestealer as well. The Bane can defensively sleep himself if the lifestealer rages and goes for him. So, in this situation, I feel that, like you said, they need another Five semi carry. Remaining. Maybe a Weaver, I'm not sure. But they can use the Alchemist to go solo mate against the Dragonite, Reserve I would say, and Five probably have dual lanes, Lich plus Weaver on the offlane, or Lich plus Lifesteal on the offlane. Well, that's another good core, I feel. But Storm is going to be weak against the Pugna without a BKB. Yeah, he's, he's fairly weak against the Pugna, and I think the other big problem is going to be the timing here. We did see Super mm-hmm. playing a Storm Spirit last game, but that was with three tier 1 towers before 15 minutes, and that, I, that really I helped actually, him get his, his Orchid. I actually prefer the Storm, uh, not the Storm, the Puck over the Storm in this situation here. I didn't catch the last ban. Was it a Puck ban that resulted in just a Storm? Uh, left I don't think so, because Vichy Gaming banned Kanka 4th and yeah, Gyro 5th. So. Yeah, I didn't see the last ban. Hmm, I don't think it got banned, but because having the Storm plus Alchemist plus Lifestealer means you're, you're going to be farming a lot. And LGD is just remaining. one of those teams... That I'm not sure if I remember uh, one game that I Five saw them play. They had three remaining. cores, but they were constantly having the life stealer. But the life stealer wasn't played played by Rabbit. The life stealer was always infested inside someone, and he didn't farm. I'm not sure which game was that, but I remember seeing this one time from LGD, and their try call didn't work out because Prepare the life stealer was always battle. trying to fight. Yeah, always trying to set something up as opposed to just sitting back and, and grabbing farm. They they do as you should have mentioned. They get the vehicle for the the life stealer here, so that's gonna help problems a little bit against some of these Vichy gaming heroes, but as you also touched on, it's very difficult for Xiao to jump I, in as the storm. I like the puck. I like the BKB. puck wall. Yeah. Because the puck is very, very potent against Sand King, Bane and Puck now. These three heroes are very afraid of Puck in the early game. Puck just deals a lot of damage and it's also not only the damage, it's the silence that makes them so so vulnerable towards Puck. Yeah, and I guess the other thing is as well, if the Storm Spirit is not really a big late da- late game damage core either, you know, battle. necessarily here. So if this game is going to go long, I think you're you're still relying on the Alchemist and the yeah. and the Life Stealer. There's I, I I would say that the Storm is better than the Puck later on, because he mm. still has some form of fighting potential, and it's very difficult to kill him later on in the game when he has a lot of items. But it's again the story. How do you get there? Because it's really greedy to have these three as your core. 
Yeah. So guys, welcome back to the Cena Cup. This is our second season. The this is our second begins. best of two of the Winter Bracket Finals, LGD China versus Vici Gaming. And as creep spawn, let's very quickly run over our team. So over on LGD, it's actually going to be Yao. On your offline alchemist, DD is your Lich. We've got Chao8 heading towards mid as the Storm Spirit. DDC is going to be your jungle crystal maiden right now. Two clarities picked up. Uh, and Rabbit will be your life stealer heading down towards bottom lane. Mm, potentials first yeah, blood on Shao Yi. Shao Yi could be dead. Fenrir will be playing the Bane, which is in this right now. Super will be the Dragon Knight. Sanking will be played by FY, and here, they're gonna go in with the sleep. He skilled his Dragon Tail, maybe? Oh no. Lich was there to bail him up. Yeah, I think they may have spotted the Invis. They already have a ward. Yeah, they have a ward there. They knew, they knew what was gonna happen. And we have Syla on the partner, and lastly, we have RTK, the Captain, the Drafter on the offlane, Elder Titan. So, first gank's not going to end up working out for Vici. They don't have the best farming supports, admittedly. So, we've already we've got this smoke picked up for FY. I wouldn't be too surprised to see some more attempts on the Storm Spirit's yeah. life at mid lane. But I think DD is just going to be sitting here, pulling back the wave, stacking up the jungle for Zhao Aid, and trying to get him as good a start as he possibly can. Denied. Like you mentioned, these two supports are... Very, very good at killing heroes, but not very good at farming the jungle compared to the CM and uh, actually not the, not the Leech. The Leech is also really bad at farming at the jungle, but the CM is going to be doing a lot of farming. And I wouldn't be surprised if just Fenrir and FY would just rotate after this pull, after this double pull fails. It's going to fail. Uh, oh, oh, they no. get it. He actually got it. He got it with the range, with the range keep auto attack. I thought the creep wasn't going to attack him. Nah, I didn't think it was going to be in range. I've, I've tried for that pull before. That was Some, a really hard work. pull to get. Yeah, that was really hard, but he got it off and Yao is going to... Yao, he really wants forward. he wants the Tormentor, but there's a stun coming in. FY is going to secure the 110 uh, he, gold. He got he got the last hit, I think. He... Uh, no, I think yeah. FY got it. Okay. He has 135 gold. I thought he got like one creep. He's got oh, he's going to be in trouble, so far. Nope, uh. they're not gonna sleep him. The pug Sila, is pinned Sila under is really the tower bad. right now. Yeah, the Sila is too far to help them. And one thing to mention as well, like, he can always use the Decapify to dodge the unstable concussion damage all the time. That would be really useful for him. Yeah, could be could become a feature of this game as we move on. I guess the other nice thing for LGD right now is that there's no- well, Vici Gaming have no idea where this Crystal Maiden is, and she could quite easily head over towards mid and set up a kill on the on the Dragon Knight. Super's already going to be playing really defensively just because of the lane that he's up against. Yeah. He could quite he's easily gonna, die against the duo lane. He's going to suffer a lot yeah. from the early game against the Lich. The Lich just rotated over. I was actually quite surprised he didn't he immediately start from the middle lane. He started at bottom and he just rotated to the mid lane right after that. Right after getting one, one or two levels. I believe his first sacrifice was actually on top to try and, I guess, help solve that problem of Alchemist not getting his stun, yeah. not getting his important levels early on. But yeah, he's already level 3, so he's got what he wants. He already has 2 points in Acid Spray as well. So Bottom lane, RTK's RTK. in trouble. It's gonna give up the Slow it down, yeah. Orb of Venom as well. Couple more slaps, we'll finish oh, him off. Though DDC Whoa. ends up grabbing it instead. First blood. He even tried and to solve already it, icing over. <laughs> to buy a little bit more time, but he wasn't going to save him. The orb of Venom there was really helpful to get that kill. Yeah, fairly aggressive build from from Rabbit so far. He's got his boots up, he's got his orb of Venom. I think he realizes that the Crystal Maiden isn't going to be helping him that much, so yeah. it is kind of up to him to do work against RTK as much as he can. Oh, mid super mid drag mid. back mid, they've got a slow, they've got a bite, they've got some remnants and a couple more right clicks. Should he's bring dead, him down. For sure. He's going to spend his money on TP scroll. Oh! Can they finish him? He dragon tails. He sips. No, no. He gets that's, finished that's off another, by that's the another normal. There's no way he was gonna escape that. I don't think he got a TP score. Yeah, he didn't spend his money. It, it looked like he thought for a second he might survive. <laughs> yeah, our TK will pick up. The, if if there was a, like three, two more or three more seconds there before he died, because the night time would have come and the the Lich King wouldn't be able to have vision to Nova him, that would be a different story. Yeah, and I guess a lot of that down to how. Absurdly low the cooldown is on Frost Nova. Only eight seconds. So managed to get two off in that gank. Yeah. Life Stealer won't won't have a very good time against uh, Elder Titan if he doesn't have support. If it's a one versus one situation right from the start, Elder Titan will be able to disrupt a lot of the Life Stealer farm. He won't be able. To, he's also even able to win a lane if it's if the Crystal Maiden didn't show up there to help him. Yeah, so DDC is just kind of lurking around right now. I think they've I've done I think they've done the damage that they need to 
mid. You yeah. can't you can't really shut down the Dragon Knight that much, but you can hurt him early game, and they are doing pretty well in terms of securing additional farm. Uh, Shall we actually head back to base right now? But it's just going to immediately TP mid to, to keep on going. Yeah. Have they stacked the jungle in. at all? Yeah, they have a little bit. Vichy Gaming is going to smoke up right now, heading towards middle. The Lich sacrifice will make sure that the creeps will always be near the tower. So who has teleport scroll to assist this fight? CM has a teleport scroll. Life Stealer doesn't. Alchemist doesn't. There's only one support that's going to be able to come down here. And Shell 8 is going to be farming the jungle right now. DD will be all alone in mid lane. If they get a sleep on him, I will Dragon Tail. Super is almost level 6, but FY is moving into Radiant's position. He was very was low attack. before, but... They base keep. They actually out. saw RTK rotating over the ward there on the river. They saw RTK come, come in, so it was actually quite a big hint there that something is going to happen in mid lane, and they immediately played very safe after seeing RTK nearby. Yeah, and mid lane wasn't being... Oh, I mean, top lane wasn't being pulled back at all either, so LGD suspect that something's happening. Yeah, I was trying to check if he used the target of the gank, but things are now going to be revealed. The supports are back on map, uh, and LGD can just go back to farming. So, good game sense, and like you said, RTK maybe gives the game away a little bit there by heading yeah, over he, to he, There was no way he would have known that there's an Opsala there. It was really hard to tell. And the ward there spotted another rotation from Michi Gaming as well. Radiance top tower so it was attack. just a lot of wasted time. Hopefully they'll be able to get this tower at least after having spent and committed so much rotating around the map. LGD is just not going to give a tower without a fight. Radiant structures <laughs> they get the acid spray down, they've got here comes some heroes the here, in comes the TP from Rabbit. Attack. Storm is on the right hand side. Oh no, Alchemist is not going to get a stun off. Super just wants to go and get one more right click on the tower. Uh, can he do it? Silo actually managed to get the last tip, but in comes Zhao Wei. Can they burst right? The Chain Frost is bouncing through, Super's down. Double kill, make it four in favor of LGD. That into was the deep freeze. one man's greed, another man's poison. Man, they got the tower, but I don't know if it was worth it at, at the end of the cost, day. Yeah, at, at, at what cost? Chat, bring out your bring out your spams. But that was yeah, that was a huge loss. I mean, LGD, it looked like oh, you brought all five of your heroes top lane just to defend your off lane tier one. Is yeah. this really gonna pan out? It did. That, that was one situation where I could safely say 2,800 damage done by one spell. Checking the yeah. combat lock. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that Chain Frost was was huge. So I guess the one upside, well, RTK got a little bit of farm bottom lane, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do much with oh, it. He's, gonna he's be getting trouble. ganked, yeah. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. Another kill for Xiao Wei. And oh, this is just really, really one... Just one sequence of greed by the partner and the Dragon Knight. One sequence of greed. And everything, everything's kind of... Well, it hasn't fallen to pieces just yet, but LGD have an enormous experience advantage. You know, that, that situation point. reminded Radiance me of one of my teammates always telling me one thing. Never get greedy with the towers. If they, if they are going to deny it, let, just let it be. But never get greedy with towers. Yeah, that, that greed cost them a lot. You back off, it gets denied, you're like, oh well. We brought four heroes here, we didn't get it, but ROTK got some farm and they brought all five there. And instead, the story ends up being, guys, we got wiped 4v5, the, you know, we did get the tower last hit, but not sure if it was worth it. Yeah, yeah that was just, no matter how you calculate the map there, it was never going to be worth yeah, it losing not, not a worthwhile trade. Even if you factor up ROTK getting farm at bottom lane, the map just doesn't add up there. So, after that, yeah, it was level 7. He's got treads. I think everybody is now fairly Dyer's farmed in LGD. We've got a level 7 attack. Lich. We've got Xiao 8. Um, 105. He's level 8 the right Storm. now. Storm is going to set up a gank at bottom. He's waiting for RTK to farm the creeps at the tower, maybe. And gonna, he's going to bring the life over him. Maybe? Yeah. Infest gank loaded. RTK, RTK very RTK defensive is right now. So defensive. Well. There's no storm mid lane, spot. so. Well, Jowit just says, screw it, I'm going top. top. There's a what gonna be spotting him out as soon as he comes into vision. Dyer's middle tower well, is under attack. The life still won't be getting much farm here unless something major happens and he's gonna be able to get kills, but I guess it's gonna be fairly obvious that something is wrong with this Tom Spirit walking around so aggressively and the life still is not on the map. 
So something is a little bit suspicious here, if you're VG Gaming. There's a concoction being charged up mid, the bite's gone out, but DDC and Yao are just a little bit off on the, the coordination there. Our TK is just dodging ganks left and right. Yeah, and Joey, he really wants this pick off here, but he's surrounded by four heroes. Yeah. The he's director is a persistent person. Uh, oh, he's gonna get Dragon back. Tail, do they have the chain stun? They're gonna power strike in. And out pops oh, no. Do they have grip? nobody. Oh, he's still level 5. Oh. Out pops the life stealer. Chain Pick Frost chain flies in, again. but actually ends up bouncing. FY gets rid of it. So they the life stealer pops out. They do manage to get the kill on Joe 8. And maybe hanging around a little bit too long on top lane. Yeah. I think that they could have just let him farm bottom before. Uh, until he gets his armlet and start moving more. But LGD is always a team that they want to look for fights as soon as the. Life Stealer has an opportunity, they push out the bottom lane and there was always options to rotate around to get with the Storm, so they are always choosing the more aggressive option rather than... They shifted a lot in their playstyle, if you look at LGD China playstyle one, one year ago, they would always be taking attack. the mu much more defensive route. The Storm would always be farming the jungle and getting ready to back up his teammates instead of trying to make something happen. Yeah, and Joey, what was looking like... What should be a very, very timely Dyer's Orchid is a little bit behind the curve now after after that Dyer's death and all the time that he spent bottom attack. lane, top lane, dead. So now he has to play catch up a little bit, unfortunately. And good news again. It's a game where doesn't seem like anyone is building anything golden. Oh, oh no, you, one right. no, there, there is one <laughs> oh, already. Right as you There's said that. Already. Right as you said that. Yeah, the Crystal Maiden has one. The DDC well, well deserved. He's two zero two at the moment. He's got some well, good farm. This item never gets anywhere too far from the current meta. No. So Vichy Gaming looks like the early push strat has kind of the the wheels fell off a little bit on that one. So how do you feel that they they have that they like, recover from here? They have like flat wheels at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Someone needs to bust they out the spare tire. Well, oh, he he dodged the fiend's grip. No, oh, that was just really quick reactions by him. It was just Double almost, damage. I think they could have waited for a bit more before I turned to the knight and rotated because the Bane tried to gank from front, in the front where the storm could have seen him. So if the storm reacted Dyer's quickly, that was going to be a difficult time for the Bane to get off his channeling because it takes quite a while for him to cast the ultimate. Enough time for the storm to react. Yeah. And, and Vichy Gaming are going to be like, like you said, they need to catch up somehow and no Midas on anyone because the other lineup is just built to fight. If they go Dyer's all fell behind, it's gonna be a rough road ahead for them. And it's gonna be a smoke right now from Fenrir and FY, trying to get an engage off for their team so that they can fight, make use of the mech, and take a tier 1 tower here. And they're running up. Dragon Form has been popped off mid lane. LGD trying to trade this. They've got two heroes focusing on the tier 1 bot. So Vichy Gaming charging straight in. Storm doesn't have teleport score, they cannot fight here. Yeah, they, they are going to end up having to trade. There's no fortification Dyer's for bottom lane. The tier 1's already fallen. TP coming in from the life stealer. They finish off the tower. It's a four man oh, Nova super. Bursts down the Crystal Maiden. Rabbit in comes the really Chain Frost. The grip goes down onto Rabbit. Can they finish him off in time? Looks like they should be able to. One more punch from RTK as the Chain Frost keeps bouncing. Oh, it finishes off the Dragon Knight. Oh. Epicenter is being used. FY with the body blocks onto Yao. Can they finish him off? There's your decrep. Oh, There's your blast. Works. He turns around, looks for the stun. Not able to get it off. Xiao Wei rolling in now. He walked in from the other lanes. Is going to be able to find RTK. DD goes down to the urn ticks, but ends oh, up being that, 4 for 2 and the tower there. That was just very, very weird for them to take that fight because the Storm didn't have TP and they were going to fight the fight 4 versus 5 and they still took the fight. I mean, they could have just backed off and taken yeah. the 1 for 1, just the tower exchange, but ended up trading an additional 4 heroes I, for I two. think it was all, it was really good for them, like, they used 2 heroes to take the bottom tier 1 and VG used 5 heroes to take your middle tier 1. You could have it had people a, farming in other lanes at the yeah, same time. Yeah, it, it was already a win situation for LGD, but they wanted to win more. Def like I said, they would never give up any towers for free. Yeah, so Vichy takes some opportunities to place some wards down over in the Radiant Jungle. So still trying to keep moving forward with this fairly aggressive game plan uh, of theirs. Did manage to bring in the tier 1 as well. Do they have that mech finished? They do. Just some phase boots up for the Here same king along with the of Vichy gaming right now. Since they won a team fight, they are able to proceed with the momentum they gained from the last fight, continue to fight again. They don't really need any 
of their ultimates now, apart Radiant's from the Dragonite's ultimate. Elder attack. Titan's gonna have his ultimate soon. Sand King's one is in 45 seconds. And grips Bane's back ultimate. Up. Yeah, Bane's ultimate is the important one they need to have. So, hmm. It's gonna be difficult for LGD. They don't have Chain Frost here, but skip. Uh, yeah, Chain Frost still 30 seconds on cooldown right now. And Vichy looks like they should just be able Dyer's to harass this tower down. They've got another attack. round of poison attack. LGD don't want to move in to get rid of this ward. Really nice they position from Psylocke. They can't defend, can't defend anymore. Well, uh, looking bottom. for the burst strike. Rabbit not going to get there. She almost got this, the life stealer. They need the armlet on the life stealer, I feel, before they can fight again. Like, he, the last fight, he, he wasn't tanky enough to take that, to be in the front lines. Yeah, I'm going to rotate back the DK to me though. Yeah, and I think the ward actually spotted them here. Yeah, they're moving across. Just a little bit of farming. Looks like nobody's going to end up being caught out, however. But a little bit of a stare down on both sides. We do have a mech finished up for LGD, so looking a little bit better in the next fight. But I think the big thing is, in all of the fights so far for LGD, they've had a really nice Chain Frost go off. I think the only reason that Super died in that fight mid lane was he ate three or four bounces from the Chain Frost and... Nah, and went down as a result. So if, if Ichi Gaming can manage that, I think their team fight power is still a little ways yeah. ahead of what LGD have. They are going to be the first ones to have a false staff. That would be really, really crucial to deal with the electric vortex from the Storm Spirit. Once you pull someone, you just false staff out and immediately nullifies a lot of the positional advantage the Storm gained from the from the vortex. So the false staff is a really good pickup here for RTK. Very, very helpful for his team. Yeah, and Jowit's actually going straight towards an Orchid right now, but you were I, saying that the Storm Spirit really needed yeah, a BKB this game. I, do you think it's the I right? Don't know about, I don't know about getting the Orchid if you don't have a good start. Yeah, they're gonna smoke up, they're looking for a pick off, they spot super, super mid lane, but there's a tier 1 tower here, he gets his dragon form off, he's gonna be defensively nightmare to save some Where's damage. RTK jumps in, they get the Earth Splitter out onto four heroes, and the Epicenter is on its way as well, the Chain Frost gets dropped, how many can it bring down? They get the grip on Yao, it's a 5-1 wipe. In favor of Vichy Gaming, stop the Chain Frost! Wow, the, the Chain Frost almost killed two heroes there. But what a team fight from from yeah. Vichy. That, that, that Earth Splitter that, was huge. That Earth Splitter plus the Epicenter did so Radiant's much damage. They were, they were stuck in the high ground there. It was a really tight spot for the few supports of LGD and they took so much damage from the, from the spells because of natural order and they died so quickly they weren't able to do anything and resulted in Vichy Gaming having a 5 for 0 team team wipe there. Radiance middle tower I, I think it was 5 for 1 they Radiance did lose oh, maybe, lost one hero. maybe the Sand King I think he, he died oh, in the middle yeah, of yeah, everything. Yeah. The Sand King died yeah it was 5 for 1 but still really really favorable for oh. Vichy Gaming there. Amazing team fight Sand and King they managed to get a now. They skip. Wow. Even more amazing. That, with that, FY managed to take, well, manages to get ahead of DDC in terms of overall farm, who does have a Midas right now, so. Good job for FY and Vichy. Well, we, we thought that the wheels were a little bit flat, but with that team fight, they're, they're right back on the road. They are the ones that got the Chain Frost kill on four or five heroes. They, they started with that, and they still managed to get their wheels back into the right track now in the game after 18 minutes. And when I look at Vichy Gaming's lineup, base skip, I am very, very tempted to. If I'm one of their players, I'm very tempted to get a view of Discord. Yeah. Very, very. Th tempted. There is a lot of there is a lot of magical damage on their team. RTK, he's actually picked up another four staff, so they've got two four staffs right now. RTK is working on a BKB, uh, and it looks like Silar is going to be heading towards uh, just a hex right now. So. Vichy, things looking pretty good in terms of in terms of farm. They've still got all of these great wards over in the Radiant Jungle as well. So it's very difficult for LGD to, to move around too much. And S Super has his BKB at them. Now, it's going to be a really good position for Vichy Gaming to take a fight. They have BKB on their Dragonite. They have two four stuff, like you mentioned. They have a mech on the Pagna. Pagna's building towards the Hex. He doesn't really need to buy anything now. They are all ready. And if you look at LGD, they still don't have the crucial... I would say the most important part of the lineup that needs the BKB is the Storm. Without the BKB, he's just not going to do too much in a fight. Yeah, I mean, he was he was picked up to be initiation for the life stealer, but without the BKB, there's no way that he can roll in yeah. into the middle of all of these stuns on Vichy Gaming. It's not only that, I feel the biggest enemy is just the, the 
Nether Ward is gonna rape him so hard. <laughs> yeah, that that definitely as well. <laughs> so, Vichy Gaming spam things denied. down. Fenrir gets the deny on the tower mid. There is an invis DD oh, mid lurking mid around, so Xiao Wei gonna be able to pick up this kill. Rolls in, and looks like that should be his orchid finished as well. But yeah. Look at looking at his skill build. Like most of the Western players that don't skill storm that way anymore. They leave the vortex at three. Remnant at one, max the overload before they max the, vault, the remnant. Oh, Vichy Storm is trying to get in. out here, but there's a double damage up on the Storm Spirit. Xiao Wei jumps in, but the oh, force staff puts Silar idea. away. They're gonna get the Dragon Tail off. Earth Split, Earth Split is coming in. Xiao Wei wastes so much mana trying to escape, but he gets burrow struck by the epicenter anyway. So Sand King force staffed further, but that's gonna just eat the chain frost. No follow up. RTK jumps in. It's two for two so far, but the Bane actually died mid lane. DD. See, trying to run out, but one more right click oh, from Yao. Super finishes him off. Yao, can they get him? Dragon Tail after the Decrepify slow. Rabbit's chasing in to try and get Super away, but they just can't do enough damage. It is going to be enough of a distraction for Yao to just turn tail and run, get back behind the tier 2 tower. But Vichy Gaming, that fight top lane ends up being a 3 for 1 overall. Yeah, it showed that without a BKB, the Storm is just so weak in the engagement. He's he's afraid of every single hero of BG gaming. Everyone can deal Radiant so much damage to him. Oh, Rabbit, Rabbit slept get... into a grip. Can they do anything to stop it? No. So down he'll go, and Vichy gaming also pick up the tier two tower, tower as fallen. gravy. This is going to be the momentum push Vichy gaming are going to have right now. They've taken out five out of tier out of tier towers of LGD. The map is always totally in control of Vichy. They're going to choose a good position and a good timing now to get the Roshan. That would be their next objective, clear objective. And while waiting for their big ultimates to come off cooldown. Yeah, I don't know what, if you caught what happened to Xiao Wei in that fight, but he got he got Dragon yeah. Tail, the Earth Splitter was on its way, and he just spammed he didn't, five or he six. Didn't dodge. Yeah. He didn't manage to dodge the Earth Splitter, he took damage, and after that, Flipped after taking damage, again. he got caught like by the Epicenter into Baru Strike by the Sand King too. Yeah, and he just, he had no mana left either. I mean, total contribution to that fight from Xiao Wei was, was fairly low. And I guess the other he, thing about this build is... He had one contribution, which is balling in and getting stunned. Dyer's tank. Top yes, tower is he, under he, he ate some spells. But Dragon Tail is, what, a 9 second cooldown? Yeah, so... Not, not the biggest deal. And I guess the other thing is, you're, you're talking about this build, and it comes to mind that more Static Remnant, more mana being used in fights, more hate from the from the Pugna. So even if you know, even if you don't agree with yeah. the build overall, this might be a game to have gone it was, max overload. It was actually instead. a really good point that you mentioned that the Pugna bots Dyer's deal a lot of damage when you have your attack. Remnant at high le higher levels, so having the Overlord at higher level instead of the Remnant would mean that Xiao Yi is going to take less damage from the ward. They're going to take a fight bottom maybe. Yeah. They're in position right now, they just saw, they're going to see the Dragonite, I don't know if they're, yeah, they're going to see the Dragonite at top right now. So probably they're going to try and look for Engage in their own jungle, and DG has to know that the Storm is not at top. Bottom is not a safe zone for them anymore. Why see they backed off. Yeah, they did have RTK sitting behind super top lane, just in case there was something moving up yeah. that way. But we've got the Infest Lifestealer again, so Jiao hoping to find something, but all of their vision is in this tiny corner on their side of the, the map. It's all pretty much just in their jungle, so it's really yeah. difficult to try and find a kill with this point. The, the Sand King and the Elder Titan are both building a BKB up, so... Oh, oh they're, they're smoked up. Can we get a blink here. burrow? DD. DD. FY, who can he oh, find? They, they saw out? Xiao 8 rotated top with the ward there, so... They might just chase him right behind and wait for a good chance where they see him and engage with the... One barrel strike, he's dead. Oh, and he oh, turns sorry. around, he comes back on the hill, can they burrow strike him? They can. They throw not that much at him, but down goes Xiao Wei. Does he have a buyback? Oh, no. He does. Uh, does they have a fortification? Really they don't even, well, they don't even have a 2-2. Really yeah. And this no looks forward. really grim for LGD holding their mortal of defending their towers. I don't think they can defend. Oh no, they're actually not going to rotate bottom lane. It's going to go high ground. Yeah. I think if the Storm Spirit's got a buyback, you ring it out of him. Especially if you know that there's no fort. If you're keeping yeah. track of fortification, you know that LGD don't have it, so they can't really stall you here. That, that that's well. an acid spray to hold things yeah. off. Acid spray goes down. Vichy Gaming gonna start just hanging away. In comes a concoction. Connects on Defender. They don't have a force staff to push him into the base. Would have been a 
Nice opportunity too. But Fichi Gaming? Four staff oh, that, away, RTK. That, that Amphibo. That Amphibo is going to be so annoying for Rabbit. So level 4 Amphibo right now. Rabbit deals... What? Like 30 damage per hit right Did now? Not the whole lot. I don't... I don't... <laughs> look, look, at, at the look at the creep! Oh boy. Yeesh. That, that doesn't bode well. If you're... If you're LGD. They do manage to get their Storm Spirit to respawn, but at the cost of a whole lot of damage on their tier 3. Yeah, and they, now they're just going to smoke up one more saw, time. But it, was this spotted? But, but BG, I think they saw the smoke because they had a ward right outside of the tower. And if they paid attention there, you would see the a little of the smoke when it's dispersing around the area where they casted it. Uh, they, mm -hmm. They're going to be... This is going to be a similar situation. BG are going to take a good spot here waiting for LGD to run up the ramp or something. This is going to be... Looking really difficult for LGD, because yeah. the enemy is ready to take a fight. LGD looking for the initiation, the Elder Titans on the back lines, but there's always four staffs to get him further yeah. away. They're going to roll in on top of RTK, Titan. but what can they do? There's the four staff immediately! They nightmare as well, Zhao Wei really wants this kill on RTK, but it might be at the cost of his own life. In comes the Chain Frost, Fenrir and FY eating huge damage, DDC just barely survives the ward. He will still be brought down, mass buybacks from VG. They're trying to get back into this fight, Zhao Wei has nothing left. Super, with the double damage, brings him down. Triple kill for your Dragon Knight, yeah. Has one more stun left. Silar still here as well. Four staff on cooldown. Rabbit and yeah, looks like they are. They might be able to get out of this. Super gets four staffed forward. But yeah, they are. Okay. They lost. They lost the fight, basically to the Dragonite having BKB and the double damage. Oh my god, he take. He didn't take that much damage. Close to none, and he dealt so much damage in return. Oh, here comes the four staff. Yao, he's gonna get stunned. Another four staff, Dragon Tail. He's still got a little bit of this double damage left, plus the spirit, plus the breed's fire. Yes, he's built it into a heaven cell, but to... this Dragon Knight is going to be really hard to take down now. Radiant structures are fortified. And LGD, well, more heroes walking out. Do they really want to try and defend this tier two? Yeah. Do they Towers. really want to? Maybe, maybe there's a buyback on. On Yao, yes, but even then if you're Richie Gaming, I don't know how scared you are. They did invest two buybacks into the last fight, so the Chain Frost cleared up Fenrir uh, and RTK right at the start. But Radiance bottom yeah, tower LGD not going to be able attack. to defend, just left Radiance to wait back inside tower their base. Has fallen. If I tell you that the Lich has the most kills in a game, would you be surprised? In this game, no. It, <laughs> the, the way that the Chain Frosts have gone for DD... I would not be surprised if you told me. He's, he's 9 yeah. for 4 for 4. If we bring up, yeah, the overall score, he is he is by far the leader in terms of kills. I'm pretty sure that the director didn't script that for the Lich to get most the most kills. I would rather have the kills on his side. And they are not going to be able to stop the Roshan now. Yeah. Are they close to their BKBs? The wow. Sand King has 1003. Is there any Mitchell Hammer in the career? No. Our TK should be close to his. He, he bought out this fight. Too. Yeah, he actually wasn't as close as I expected. Roshan has he does have 2.1k on top of the Ochre Club, so he's definitely getting there. And they actually end up giving the Aegis to Silar here. I guess the Dragon Knight not super useful once he's died yeah, I, once. I think the, the most important piece of the pushing lineup, the, the most important piece of the, the puzzle is the Pagna. The Pagna is just the main... He's the main event, casting blast after blast to take down the towers. And having having a a second life would most likely mean that you are able to get another nether ward off during the fights and that would be really, really important for the team. Hmm. Yeah, and the, I mean who else do you put it on really? I don't think Super yeah. would die. He's so tanky and with the evasion, how are they gonna kill him? Yeah, he's got 2k health, he's got a Heaven's Halberd, I think he's going to be just fine. And he's about to reach level 16 as yeah, well. They're going to wait for his level 16. Yeah. So now the siege begins. Fine, fine. Fine, we'll fine, see how long fine, it lasts. They're going to roll in on top of who, however. Xiaowei eats damage from the ward. There's going to be a Decrepify from Silar as well to keep it up. Another tier 3 is down. Radiance and Vichy Gaming can move up onto the high ground. Xiaowei still has a regen left. And, and Feeble on the Crystal Maiden. <laughs> the lifestyle will be happy. 
Oh wow, poor, poor DDC, but he's only casting spells anyway. Runs in, drops a very aggressive Frostbite, they get the Hex out onto Shower. Is there gonna be any follow-up? They forced out the Dragonite in. Where's the Burst Strike? They don't get it. Now they're chased deep into enemy territory. Xiaowei, however, stunned up. It's gonna be brought in in a couple of right clicks. The Chain Frost starts bouncing. Will it ever stop? Silas can end up decrepifying himself. Starts draining out Rabbit, who's brought down by a Burst Strike. Deeper into the base, FY. Finds Yao, DD also very low, the Netherwood almost killing him off, they managed to pop the Aegis, the fight's actually going okay for LGD, can they bring down Super, he's got a little bit of his ultimate left, he keeps on fighting, Sarlar's back to life, drops another blast, but Rabbit and Jawit still looking for him, he four staffs out, he's got the mech, Rabbit gets hit by the decrap, but Jawit still on the hunt, gets hexed, the drain starts, Jawit should be able to finish this, he still has the Vortex, down goes Sylar, and LGD managed to wipe out Vici Gaming at the cost of two buybacks. Two buybacks, so it's... Uh, how many did they lose? Did they lose four or five? Uh, oh, I think they lost three. They only lost three. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure three, they only lost three. So th it was three, three for six, six. After, yeah. after counting the Aegis. So it was a very good defense for, from LGD. Even... I, I don't think it was a bad timing for VG to push. It was a really prime time for them to go ahead and... to try and take down the Rex and... It was just a really good defense from LGD. They were fighting in the acid, acid spray and the chain force again dealt so much damage. They could have waited two minutes for their BKBs, I think is the only the only thing that you can say for Vichy. Because as soon as RTK respawns, he buys his. I, and the I, Sand I King really, pretty much has his. Yeah, I, I don't really feel it was that big of a blunder, but because mm. they were in such a good spot to push and you don't want to waste any time before your enemy gets any more items. Like, for example, the all crucial backing bar from the Storm, which he still attack. hasn't got it. You want to fight as much as possible when the Storm Dyer's doesn't have a BKB. Without a BKB, it, there's going to be a high chance that they're going to be able to kill him. And BG are just going to come in again, not contented with how the last fight went. Yeah. This time around, there's no tier 3 to fight they through. They actually see oh, a, double a double damage, damage bot. Yeah. Is anyone gonna go for it? They don't have... Do they have a bottle? I don't think so. No, they just no. wanna go. They, they don't care. <laughs> ward on the high ground, nether ward on the low ground. The blasts are gonna start off in the barracks. Super is the first one to walk up. He's got a 7 second BKB to back him up. They get the fortification out. RTK is just waiting in. He's gonna get dragged back. Is he gonna be able to pop his BKB? He gets decrept. He gets nightmared as well, so he's gonna be alright. They need to pull this nightmare off Super. He's used his BKB so far, the burst strike comes in, but it's only on DD. Yao gonna keep on fighting. They use the Dragon Tail on the Crystal Maiden, roll into Xiao Wei, but he's got no mana left. He gets hexed, he gets gripped, there's nothing left to focus down Rabbit, so he knows that he has to run straight back into the fight, but the epicenter is going off, he's being stunned up as well. ROTK tries to bring him down, the freezing field is huge from DDC. It's bringing down Vici Gaming, it's two for one so far, super, very low on the sidelines. Can he get this kill on DDC? Stuns him up, but the concoction's flying. He's still just barely alive, brought down by the Acid Spray and the Urn Charge. Yao hit by the Decrepify, blasted down by Sylar. He's gonna buy back. They still haven't got the melee barracks down. He's gonna buy back and TP, oh, almost TP straight in. DD still up, gets nightmared. They've got a burst strike, but they just want the buildings. DD brought down, four staffed further away. FY gets stunned along with the rest of Ichi Gaming. They do have another scythe up, however, but he's not gonna do damage. Okay. Poor Yao. Yeah, he's I don't. He's not. He's not doing damage. <laughs> don't, don't be afraid. One blast he's brings down two racks. Right <laughs> Yao versus creeps. Oh my god. Didn't even get that one. Wow. No, that was that was very sad. <sighs> if that happens to me in a pub. <laughs> I'll be raging so hard. Hmm. Yeah, that would be that that would not be very fun. I will I will admit. The Bane's got really good levels, I think is the is the big key here. It's actually level 14. So Vichy Gaming finally bring down this lane of Rax. It was a it was a really intense team fight. Xiao Wei, the one weird moment for me was when he, he rolled all the way out. He ended up around here, and at that yeah. point he had no mana left. And he so, got hex and gripped. Hex and gripped. And unfortunately the lifestealer couldn't even do that much. For me, the, the main the main thing that was different from the last fight, and you compare to the last fight where Vichy the the last one, the other one where Vichy lost all their heroes past the Aegis was the main difference was the chain frost timing this time round wasn't too good because there was if I remember was five to six creeps still around the heroes of Vichy, so the chain frost damage actually bounced a lot of the creeps. And it wasn't on the heroes. That's why LGD didn't they didn't deal enough damage to kill any of the Vichy heroes. Yeah, and 
DD had nine kills before that fight, has nine kills afterwards as well. So no kills. <laughs> yeah. No more no more kills for, for DD. But but actually the CM freezing field dealt like it sort of compensated back like the chain force not doing damage, but the freezing field did a lot of damage because of the BKB. But it wasn't enough. They needed both the supports. Like I feel like the fights can only be won by LGD if the two support spells, the ultimates, got a lot of damage done and they would be able to win the fights. The, the Nyx and the Alchemist plus the Storm are barely doing enough damage compared to the CM and the Lich. Yeah, Welcome uh, to the world of the supports now. Yeah, well, welcome the supports. to 6.79. I, I would be really interested to, to see the the combat log printouts at the at the end of this game, just you know in terms what? of total damage for I'm quite sure that the Chain Force is the one that deals the most damage yeah, in the game. I'm pretty sure it might be your most damaging ability this game. Maybe maybe Nether Epicenter? Blast is going to be up there, maybe Epicenter uh, as well, but I don't know. I think we've had some maybe, amazing maybe Chain Maybe we should just so count far. ultimates on you. Yeah. Can't really compare the Nether, the Nether Blast and the Chain Force because the cooldown is not fair. Yeah, not... Not fair at all. So, Vichy Gaming have actually backed off at the moment. We've got another smoke picked up on the Sand King, so it looks like they're just going to be uh, smoking out and looking for this fight. LGD, lots of super defensive vision on mid lane. Rabbit has a little cordoned off area you know, for himself to farm in right You know, now. basically, four heroes on Vichy Gaming have BKBs now. See you later, Chain Frost. And, and Freezing Field as well. It's it's not going to do a whole lot. I guess it, does it, it still reduces your attack and move speed. Right. Well, that's not what they want. Yeah, they, they, they want to kill them. They don't want to. They don't want to slow them down a little bit. Oh no, Xiaowei is going to get caught out here by a bar shot. Uh, Xiaowei, is it going to be a oh, blink no. bar? No conservative yeah, rolls for him. 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 Just straight out of there. And he's got his BKB now as well, along with a 10 second. Well, now, and he's got a 10 second BKB and a double damage rune. So maybe it's time for Xiaowei to make some magic happen in this next fight. He can still be gripped, like, once yes. he's gripped by the Bane, he's still gonna die. Like, unless his teammate, someone is managed... If you look at the stuns they have, once the fight breaks out, if the Lich throws out his Chains Force, and the CM immediately bites someone and runs in BKB Illusion. and Freezing Field, most of the time there won't be any stuns left to save the Storm, because the Storm will be rolling in in the middle of the fight, and he's gonna be far in the enemy territory, unless someone saves the spell. The one that I feel most likely is able to stop the Bane's Fiend Scrape after he's, Yeah, there's only one way actually the Chain Frost when the Bane has a BKB. Yeah, you have to use the the Chain Frost Mini Sleep, or Mini Stun, yeah, whatever you want to call it. The yeah. Chain Frost has been dealing the most damage for them. So if you have to use the Chain Frost just to stop the grip, you're probably going to lose the fight anyways, unless you get some good bounce and stuff. Yeah, so Vichy Gaming, back to Siege on bottom lane. We've got a Heaven's Halberd finished up. For the life stealer as well. Show it gonna grab a little bit of farm mid, but Bichi, they pushed out bottom lane and Roshan has actually respawned, so they're gonna back off and have that as their arena for the next fight. And LGD, we'll see if they make the call to to go out and they, take this one. I think, I think they, they need to go to. out and yeah. challenge this. If they don't challenge this, this is the third Roshan. Yeah, this is the third one. It's gonna no, have a second. second. Yeah. I thought that they killed it earlier, but they didn't actually. They went in the pit, I think they stood around for a little bit and didn't do it. Okay. If you check his inventory... The storm Xiaowei, steal can he steal it? No, no not there in time. Silo picks up the edges. They've managed to isolate Yao outside, but he gets forced out. The Hex being used on him as well. FY running in with the BKB. The Storm rolls in, but Grip goes out onto Rabbit. They're trying to focus him for now. The Chain Frost just bouncing on BKB units. DDC is going to try and drop the Freezing Field. Fenrir is outside of his BKB. Now the Chain Frost continued bouncing. The Freezing Field manages to bring down just the sand. King, but it's a three for one. Xiao Wei does end up surviving, but not even able to do that much damage in the fight. And now Vichy oh, yeah, just gonna march down towards bottom lane. Uh, yeah, Aegis even unused there. Pot potentially wipe them all out if they had the chain plus two damage instead of bouncing over BKB targets. They took a lot of damage from the freezing field there, but sadly they didn't take damage from the chain frost before. Yeah, and Vichy, everyone is looking really healthy yeah. as they as they like, move. Like yeah, like you said, once the Lich is stopped, get, stopped getting kills, They're it's so <laughs> nice. over. So, Vichy... Well, there's a fortification for LGD, they'll probably Radiance take at least one more fight, but they've got no more buybacks. Can, yeah, I don't think they yeah. can defend here. It's just Radiant impossible without fortified. the whole squad. So, it's looking like LGD are going to be knocked down to our lower bracket final to play Radiant against, against IG. IG. Yeah. LGD China versus IG, it's a... Uh, 
It's a classic. Radiance bottom barracks. So Sila got his revenge. Radiance bottom barracks. Yes, he did. That's what, I guess that's one storyline that we didn't talk about well, going into this there's, game. There's another thing I want to say. So the, the other day, Vichy beat, uh, beat DK, right? So it was Dyer's RTT getting his revenge. Now Sida is getting his revenge. It's so this is Vengeance Gaming. Vichy Gaming? Vengeance Gaming. Vengeance the, gaming. the other day was like Mira Match Gaming. Today is Vengeance fortified. Gaming. Everyone is going to take, take, a, bit of from, from, take a bit of bullets from attack. their ex-teammates. <laughs> Well, in the I guess in the Chinese scene, it's, it's not that surprising that you end up playing against people that you've previously played with. Just with, I, and I've made this comment before that it feels like the the Chinese scene just gets match. it just gets shuffled up every every couple of years, and we end up with the new dream team and a couple of new rivalries and and rinse repeat. But we've had some oh, amazing Dota so far in in both Ace Bane and is, the Cena Cup. Bane is come here. Bane is. Storm is gonna get surrounded here. Oh no. Shall we? RTK. Where's your way out? He's gonna jump on top of RTK that will be able to burst him down, FY. Just able to sandstorm and be absolutely fine. Silar, he's still got this hex, he's focusing on Rabbit, he's been silenced up, but FY making his way in. He's gotta borrow. Is there gonna be a rage from Rabbit? No hope. Still six seconds on cooldown. Fenrir makes his way in with the grip. Zhao Wei doesn't have anything left to cancel that. So they drain all of the life out of the life stealer. DD walked all the way out, almost gets hit by the burst strike from FY, but barely able to TP in. RTK, he's got some gold left in the bank, he just buys back and Vengeance Gaming begin their death push towards mid. That's some karma for the life stealer. Getting his life stolen in return. Hmm. Yeah, that was that that couldn't have been fun for, for Rabbit. <laughs> oh no, he couldn't. The thief gets stolen. the thief gets to be Oh, uh, Fenrir, oh, they get the silenced, but there's an immediate BKB. Zhao Wei uses pretty much all of his mana rolling around Yao. Gets stunned up, he's trying to blade mail and BKB his way through this fight. Zhao Wei is now being sheeped. Can he drop anything? Gets hit by the Decrepify, the Freezing Field. Dropped, doing some good damage. The Chain Frost is coming, there's no creeps. Vichy Gaming is still kind of grouped up. Silar and Super right next to one another. It bounces out. Fenrir trying to absorb this. Silar gonna keep on draining. Didi's been trapped. He's gonna get drained as well. Everybody's getting drained. Yao's getting drained. And LGD get drained out of the well, drained out of the winner bracket. We're gonna be sending them down to victory. Yeah. That's just really, really good. Who would have so saw this coming after the chain after, frost after the 4 the 4 0 <laughs> top lane. Yeah, that was. It was 5 0, right? They lost all 5. Uh, uh, no, no R ROTK was farming bottom yeah. lane. For once, ROTK wasn't part of a team slaughter. Yeah, so that wraps it up for our winner bracket finals. Congratulations to Vichy Gaming. They're going to be advancing to the grand finals, which is a full best of five, uh, which is going to be played tomorrow, our final day of play. Um, and LGD, I think we're going to be seeing them pretty much immediately down in the the lower bracket. There might be a short wait since this one went 2-0. Yeah, there may actually be like a 50-minute uh, wait. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the winner bracket final. I've been Basekip, providing coverage here on behalf of Beyond the Summit. If you want to leave me any feedback on my casting, you can email me at basekipdota at gmail.com. Otherwise, find me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube, all under the name of Basekip. Joining me was Winter. Winter, I don't believe you're going to be back for the winter bracket, uh, for the lower bracket final, so I'll pass it over to you for closing thoughts uh, and your usual shoutouts and plugs. Yeah, you can find me at uh, my Twitter is winter.ta. My Facebook is also winter.ta. Yeah, and twitch.tv slash winter. Don't forget to, to check him out when he's streaming. And you're not going to be back for the, the winter bracket. Yeah, I have, final. A, I have a match in two hours. Ah, okay. Well, all the best with that. So that's. Um, Unless they start right now. <laughs> unless unless they start right now. Okay. Well, all the best winter. If I have time to watch, I'll be I'll be cheering along. I'm gonna go and see if I can find anybody else to jump in. I do think we're gonna have a, a short break, so hopefully I'll be able to, to sort something out. But thank you, Winter, for joining me and guys I hope Yeah, thanks Winter. And um guys I hope you'll join me for the, the lower bracket final coming up next.